If anybody tells me to buy a Steam Deck instead, I will ban you from commenting on my videos ever again. It's been almost six years since this masterpiece of a console came out, but I think it's finally time to put it out the pasture. Let's build the Nintendo Switch 2. First, we're keeping it hybrid because that's what made the Nintendo Switch so special. Going from dock to handheld mode was perfect, and it was a great evolution from the Wii U gamepad. There's no going back now. I cannot see myself playing a Nintendo console that is not hybrid, and I have a PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. We don't need another ultra-powerful system out on the market that does the same exact thing, so we're keeping it hybrid. Now, I know keeping it hybrid means we're sacrificing some power, but what I'm thinking is 1080 60 in handheld mode with 4K upscaling. Now, we're six years out from the original release of the Nintendo Switch, and that hardware's about 10 years old at this point, so I think that they would be able to make a hybrid console that has the 1080 60 compatibility in handheld mode and get some 4K upscaling. I know we won't get 4K native, but they could do upscaling. I really just want enough power so certain things don't happen again. We have to keep the LAN port. I know it won't mitigate all the problems that we have with the Nintendo Switch Online because we'll still have to deal with Wi-Fi, but the LAN port should be standard and hopefully gives us a better experience on games like Smash Brothers and Splatoon. Just completely trash the Joy-Con. All know that Joy-Con drift sucks, but these are also made for baby hands. I do not like using Joy-Con at all. They don't feel good on my hands. They're too small. So I'm hoping if they continue with the Joy-Con, maybe make them a little bit wider and just more ergonomically friendly for adults. Kind of like the Hori Split Pad Pro, but I really hate this thing. It sucks so much. Let's talk about customization, or lack thereof, on the original Nintendo Switch, because we only have two themes, black theme and white theme, and there's really only one theme, because nobody is or should be using the white theme. The 3DS had a plethora of themes that you could buy for a dollar or two. You could customize your 3DS to your liking. They had background music. It was a great option for people that wanted to do that. The Nintendo Switch just stripped that all away. So I hope in the successor of the Nintendo Switch 2, whatever it is, they give us more options for themes. Just give me more colors at least. So give me folders at launch. Yes, I know the Nintendo Switch has groups, but it came years after release. And I don't think that many people actually utilize them. I know I haven't, I have a ton of games. I have over 300 games and most of them are digital. I've made two groups and that was for a joke moving on to the nintendo switch online please get rid of the app nobody wants to go onto their phone to do voice chat through an a separate app if they're gonna do that they're just gonna use discord so get rid of the nintendo switch online app then just put the voice chat into the system i would much rather talk to my friends in a friend party system than have to go to an outside app all the other systems do it, so I don't know why you have to be different. Then, put a headphone jack in the controller. Then we're going to fix the eShop, because it is a complete mess on the Nintendo Switch. It's clunky, it's slow, it's hard to navigate, it's not a good place to be. And Nintendo, don't you want people to be on your shop so they're spending money giving you more money? And that place is horrible. I hate going there. I load it up to see what the new releases are. Then I get frustrated and leave within 20 seconds because it's so slow. It takes forever to see anything and I can't find anything easily because everything's just a cluttered mess. The Wii U had a much better eShop. It also had background music. I don't know where that went, but let's put the background music back into the eShop, please. I know Nintendo loves giving us gimmicks, even if we don't want them. So I'm going to put a new gimmick into this Nintendo Switch 2. Now you might say, hey, the hybrid compatibility is the gimmick of the Nintendo Switch. And to that I say, the DS and 3DS both have the dual screen gimmick, but the 3DS added 3D. Now I'm not saying I want to add 3D to the Switch because they abandoned that really quickly on the 3DS, but there is another thing that they attempted in the past that they could probably try to add into the system and that's vr yes i know they uh they did this that shall not be named but we've come a long way vr has progressed 
and I think they could implement it in a smart way to make it not just completely horrible. The last thing I'm putting into this system is backwards compatibility, mostly for the Nintendo Switch, because I have a huge library of Nintendo Switch games, and there are 117 million people that bought the Nintendo Switch, so you're leaving them out to dry if you don't have backwards compatibility, at least with the Nintendo Switch. I don't want to buy Mario Kart 8 Super Deluxe with fries two or three years down the line. To at least keep the NES, Super NES, N64 online games, and maybe we'll get some Game Boy games, GameCube games, Wii games down the line. Just keep them just so we have a way to play those retro games. Now, I know you might be thinking, hey, he really just wants a more powerful Switch with backwards compatibility and customization options. Yes, that's what I want. Switch is a huge success, so like, why not just make a better version? I could be completely off base on this, but I don't see them going back or trying something new because of how successful the Nintendo Switch was. But if you think differently, make sure you leave a comment below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. I want to thank you all for watching this far. I'll talk to you all next time.